Welcome to another episode of Poker Time. We're playing 510 Cash. Cash money. Yeah. He's had True. some winners, some losers, although no really big winners and losers yet. I think when we uh, we put up the wins and losses just before the last one, it was like 1.5K in both directions. Someone up, someone down, but not a lot. But here's a guy who likes to gamble. That would yeah, be Danny. I think that's a blind raise over the button straddle by Danny, and he happens to have woken up with a reasonable hand. Lucky him. Yep. So he basically restraddled, but it's uh, not live. Yeah, it's just so the worst case scenario. And he did it from the and worst he's in position. The small blind. Yeah. Danny's a gambler. He there's no question about it. To oh, and he's run into the kings, and the dynamic created by this blind raise might might incentivize Danny to put a few more chips in the pot than he sometimes otherwise would. I mean, I don't think he's going to fold to whatever this raise is. That's for sure. Well, that, yeah. he shouldn't. I agree. But he's in a lot of trouble. When you're Wonka in the spot, you're actually a little upset because he's like, Danny has a random two cards, and now I'm having to make it a lot bigger, and I might not get any action for my kings because other players are less likely to call. But if one guy is going to call with a pretty wide yeah. range of hands in this spot, it's going to be Danny. That so is true. You do get that going for you. Gut, well, shot, gut shot and backdoor flush draw for Danny. Not too bad a flop, really. I expect a C-bet. I don't think Danny's folding on this uh, flop. I'll say that. He might even check raise. Yep. Not crazy. You think any paint is good for you? I mean, some of the time. It is Wonka. Of course. 170 is the bet. Then he checks to make sure he has the king of hearts. And there's the call. Wonka's probably thinking yum yum, but a lot of bad cards on the turn. That, you know, they're scary looking cards, I should yeah. say. Like that. That's a scary looking That's card. That's definitely a scary looking card. Now, Danny doesn't have too many aces in his range. He he put in the blind raise preflop, so it doesn't include a ton of aces necessarily. I mean, he called the raise, so he can have like ace nine, ace ten, ace four, ace x of hearts. That's about it. There's the jack. So Danny now has something. And a hand that rates to be best at least some of the time when Wonka checks back. I think Wonka should go for value here. Uh, probably small value. Try to get called by a ten or a nine. Yep. Have to be pretty small to get called by a 10 or a 9. Do you disagree about going for value? I think you can go for some thin value here. You expect Danny's usually betting his ace on the river. Just Danny has basically the best possible hand he can have that isn't an ace here. Yeah. So it's kind of perfect for Wonka. If he's ever going to get value, this is the hand to get it out of. So let's see if he can A, go for it, and B, if it works. Nope, he no. checks. He's just afraid he can't even get called by a 10. That's a fair, a it fair is. thing is. to think. It's hard to think Danny's going to have a jack very often. So even the jack would be a scare card but for Danny. Of all the heroes in the Marvel Universe, Danny is the most <laughs> heroic. So, I think that's fair. So maybe you should go for it anyway. Yeah. It's just, well, you know, Wonka did get a fair amount of value because of the straddle and restraddle or effect or blind raise. True. So he got more than, he, got, he still pulled like $350 out of Danny's coffers there. Coffers is, of course, a intimate body part wow <laughs> i just mean that i'm not saying for danny i mean that's a, a medical term coffers keep going yeah am i is it, am i digging out at all no <laughs> no, no no i think you're stuck okay hey ladies it's wheel he's got four three of clubs they're like i'll meet him in, in four or three clubs <laughs> whatever he wants <laughs> We figure at this point our audience is mostly, mostly uh, people who are into wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelheads. <laughs> and Stewie Younger going to take it down. There he is. He's the button. No, no. This He's is... got position. You know what they say? I love it when he. <laughs> no, let's slow down there. <laughs> I know uh, this is not but, meant to disparage Will, but it re in real world, yes. you know, experiences of people giving a feedback on poker time, the player who we've gotten the most positive feedback on is, I think you know, Action Aaron. Yes, that's true. Yeah. So what, what are you saying? How uh, is that disparaging Will? You're saying that... Because we were talking about it like it's just wheelheads watching these oh, days. Oh, yeah. Well, Aaron's not here, though. That's so true. Like they, so for they, the, the wheelheads are, are happy this time. <laughs> well, the, I mean, they'd be happy even if Aaron was here, right? But the Aaron heads are, are gone. They're not here. They tune in. They're out. Yeah, that's true. Here's Wolf of 5-4 Diamonds. 
Well, it can be a little wide in these kinds of spots. I'd be curious to see if he decides to play it. Yeah. Looks like no. Oh, looks like there isn't a straddle on the button. So we're going to have to wait to find out anyway. Mamba with the open. and That's a call from Karimio. Everyone's got a hand. Well, now I fully expect Mike to play the 5-4 suited. Unless Wheel puts in a 3-bet. By Mike, you mean Wolf? Yes. And by everyone has a hand, you mean everyone but Danny? Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> For Danny, that's a hand. Sure. And Wonka's... I don't see how Wonka can do anything but call here. This he's, would be the tightest fold in he's history. He surprised us with his tightness in the past, but... It's yeah. true. This would be pretty tight. Is he raising? No. He, he just had a lot of intention behind his call. Mm. So we're going to the flop six ways. That's kind of amazing. One ace out there. Jack, king, eight, two diamonds. That's diamonds for Wolf. And Wheels got top pair. Yep. Danny with middle pair. And uh, backdoor straight draw. Danny is trying to protect middle pair, and here's Wheel. Is Wheel going for a raise right now? Multi-way, I don't actually hate that. Thinning the field a little bit. Six ways, yeah. He does He's going to just call. Wolf's going to call Wolf two. Feels like he has to come in. This is where the raise would have knocked Wolf out. Probably just would have taken it down, but... A little bit to dodge now. Yep. Cremio has not folded. Does Cremio know it's on him? That's the most likely thing, right? Is that he doesn't know it's on him? Yeah. Because, oh. Yeah. Well, how he could, knows now. How could you consider calling with sixes there? I don't huh? think he was really considering. <coughs> Maybe he was thinking about a raise. Maybe. And that decides to let it go. And that's now a gutter for Wolf as well. Yep. I feel pretty good about that. I mean, 9 10 is already beating you here. Danny's got a gutter too. Wolf is going to uh, have to fold here now to Wheel's bet. I don't know how much it is, but it's probably significant. 325, I think. Half pot. I think Danny can fold too. Yep, me too. He's got a gutter, but it's not that good. It's not that. Whoa, did Danny just go all in? Whoa. Danny just went all in. Okay, he blocks the nuts. Wow. So th is that why? Best guess. He thinks Wheel is capped because Wheel didn't raise the flop. He thinks Wheel is capped at a one pair hand, so he can get him to fold and has some outs against that one pair hand if he gets called. Wheel doesn't really have any 7 8, you would think. The 7 doesn't usually make him two pair. Nope. So maybe that's the thought process. Yeah. Figure Wheel's, like you said, raising the flop with two pair plus. So it's like, worst case scenario, it's basically the hand he has. Yep. King Queen of Diamonds, I guess, is the worst case scenario, but whatever. Interesting play. Yeah, wheel with a lot back. 1.3K. You're usually not good on the in this spot. I just like, Danny. I like this play a lot better than calling. Yeah, me too. Look at the spot wheels in here. Oh, shoot. Is that what you do with the busted flush brother, young man? Oh, busted. Yeah, there's still one card to come. I know. I know, I know. He seems to really be considering this call. If there's a player at the table to do it against, it's probably Danny. Yep. Danny, maybe Wolf, maybe Mamba. Those are like your top three candidates, yeah. I would say. The four deuce game is on, so. Good point. That helps a little. He, he calls, calls with Ooh. one pair. And we're going to make him flip him over, right, boys? Here we go. You can only run it once here on Poker Time. Turn your cards over, Wheel. <laughs> and that's exactly the hand Danny was uh, really hoping he'd be able to fold out here. Yep, that was his whole goal, and it's a brick. Riffs it, and that's a huge pop for Wheel. Wow, 4K for Wheel. <clears throat> awesome, awesome win for him. Very interesting line from Danny too. Yep, I like it. It is uh, really challenging. One of the questions is, would Danny actually play nine ten like that? You know, yeah. would, he, would he actually play his strong hands where he checks to wheel there? Where often wheel's probably going to have checks sure back. Yeah. It's nine, ten are sets that yeah. he's deciding to try to get but an extra bet on the turn. That said, like, Danny checking there, he gets to see a lot. He gets a lot of information, right? Wheel betting, and then he gets to see Wolf fold. Yep. 
And it's like, well, I'm losing a 9-10, but I block that. And mostly, as you said, he only has one pair of hands. I kind of love the move, even though it didn't work. I agree. Oh, God. Something about barbecue? The wheelheads are celebrating the streets. Such a smart Wow. Look how happy Wheel is, too. He's beaming. Yeah. It's nice. Nice to see. I think Danny was our one of our big winners, and uh, he definitely isn't anymore. He's definitely losing now. Wheel, I think, is almost certainly the biggest winner in the game. I guess I don't know where he started from. Yeah. He's in. He might be. <laughs> it's possible. Well, lots of things are possible, though, Grant. What's that? Like owning a jellyfish as a pet? Yeah. That is possible. Yeah. I owned a jellyfish, actually, as a child. No. Huh. What was its name? Mr. Squiggers. You just made that up. What are you talking about? How could I make up a, hand, a name like that? Mr. Squiggers the jellyfish. I don't believe you. Really? Yeah. What? Why not? I believe. I weirdly I believe that you owned a jellyfish. I also believe it did not have a name. <laughs> So you think I'm lying about the jellyfish's name? Yeah. But that I did own a jellyfish. We yeah. didn't have, you're, and you're saying not that I'm lying about the name and that it was a different name like Harold. No. It just didn't have a name at all? Well, now the, now the, two, now the two top candidates are definitely Harold and no name. <laughs> it's definitely not. I mean, okay. I'll, I will acknowledge it's not Mr. Squiggers. <laughs> <laughs> that was a made-up name. To be honest, I don't know what to do but I will tell you that there's no chance I would have had a pet and didn't name it. It's always going to have a name of some sort. So Harold, Harold Jellyfish, by the way, a great name for a jellyfish. Uh, that's the top jellyfish name for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a straddle on the button and Wheel is going to bump it up from the cutoff. Wolf has a... Is Wolf going to go for the three bet here? Could definitely do that. He does. Wheel's hand is too good to fold. Too big to fail. It's the hand you just won 4K with. Yep. How can you say no? And, my, and uh, Wolf gets to see that Wolf uh, Wheel wasn't just stealing. Or Wheel's just feeling it. Yeah. Well, pretty good flop. Wheel with the backdoor clubs and the gutter. Could go either way as Wolf here. Yeah. Agreed. It would not be unreasonable at all to check. Wolf just lets it go. Wow. Wheel lets it go, but sure. Whoops. I'm not well, wait, wait, wait. Wolf lets it go right now. Oh, that's <laughs> what you meant. Yeah, I got that one confused, though, huh? I think that's the stacking chip syndrome a little bit. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Why don't you like describe to everyone what that means? Hundreds. For everyone else, not for me. Somebody said <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Well, uh, when you stack chips, yeah. it makes your wrist really tired. And sometimes you accidentally yeah. flip in those cards as a fold because of a spasm. But that's not what you meant. No, of course not. If you can't figure it out, you're too dumb to watch the show. Ouch. <laughs> Not nice. All right, no, I'm kidding. You should see me the salad. What? You should see what? <laughs> it, it takes a long time to eat a salad. No, my wife, my, my wife just like, just, just goes oh God. nuts. She just goes nuts. She she <laughs> she watches me. Eat this I mean, no, she what? She I forget it. Is this, a, just is this a fetish of some kind? Like this, this is yeah, it's, awesome. 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 it's going well. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, that was I don't know why they call it top. Wheel's gonna There's limp this time. Why aren't you explaining? Like, I'd be surprised if Wonka limps the button here with a hand like this. Yeah, I expect him to make it 55 to 60. Sounds about right. That looks like 55. And Mamba with a real hand. You could definitely three bet in this Yes, scenario. don't hate it at all. Size to call. I think I like it better than calling. Yeah. Wolf has to call, or Wheel has to call. Now, now, I'm, now I'm doing it. <laughs> Stacking chip syndrome. <laughs> yeah, my wrist hurts. <laughs> By the way, Wheel said the two words that are the most painful to wheelheads and the interns. My wife. My wife. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. He's taken. Well, you don't know if he, he's like. Careful. Don't let's not start something here. <laughs> Marital Discord, really? You gonna go there? Wonka flops best by a mile. 
and he checks his weak ace. Seems reasonable. Yep. Let's see if anyone picks up anything here on the turn. Like an eight or something? Nope, a nine, which is... Got everyone drawing dead here. Even Wonka. <laughs> Mama's looking at that nine like it's a tasty, tasty treat. He could rep it. Yeah. What nines does he have? He's jack nine, ten nine suited. suited, ten nine suited, nine eight suited, nine seven suited. Probably. Also his pocket sevens. Ace X. You might feel comfortable betting a good ace here. Well, guys, about as easy as a call as you're ever going to have on the turn anyway. Look, I just I just made 20 bucks. Take that, Brittany. God, I'm got her. Because earlier you told me that there was a... Yeah, so you're still down. Oh, well, Mamba's probably figured out essentially what Wonka's range is here. A sex and you know pocket pairs above the nine a lot of the yep. time. Can That's he get him to fold? Big bet might just do it. Wouldn't get like a reasonable <laughs> ace. This ace, I don't know. But I think to a big bet might just get the job done, right? Yeah. Like, like two fifty, three hundred, something like that. You would also you could bet trip nines like that, trying to get called by the weak aces. So it's it's a or plausible aces. story. Yeah, or this. Oh yeah, by the aces in general. You're right. Wonka has very few nines. You could really load up here. You could go four to 450. Fold out almost all the aces. Try to. Do you think that's transparent? I mean, I think Wonka is going to play a game theory optimal approach as best he can and fold more of his range when you yeah. size it up. So... When that's your opponent, size you know, he's, he is price sensitive, so you can make it harder. Oh, you did something right by now. Oh, and he checks. I got showdown value. All right, and to that's going to do it. Wonka's yeah. never going for value. You see, Mama said, I've got showdown value. He does. No, he, no, he doesn't. What showdown value does he have when Wonka calls the turn? <laughs> None. <laughs> Fair enough. Bompot. Wonka still in the <laughs> gleam, the glean of happiness after winning that last pot. Well, he's, he's stacking the chips not because of the pop, but because Stuart knocked his stack over in the middle of the hand, which is, you know, totally normal. Not, not really something you, you see. <laughs> <laughs> They're friends, though. Yeah. It was, it was done with some amount of love. Stuart only probably took one or two black chips when he did it. Yeah. Which is a normal tax when yeah. you knock someone's stack over. Right. Anyway, let's play an Omaha bomb pot, shall we? Okay. How about two boards? Uh, can we do one this time? Not this time. Okay. We'll do two. Okay. Can we do three? Oh, we could, but it would break everyone's brains, including our own. We also might run out of cards. I don't think there's enough cards. Yeah. It handed, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we run out of cards. We do. Here we go. Four... I like jack just, seven. I like just four. You know, <laughs> simplicity. <laughs> yeah. Four jack seven rainbow and eight ten seven rainbow. What? So you know, there's a few hands like uh, nine ten eight nine stuff like that, which are going to connect well with both boards. Jack nine. Jack nine seven eight seven nine seven ten. Of course, they have more than more than two cards so, here. So, They've got so four cards, so they can really have some interesting stuff. We got jack seven for Stewie, which is. With queen jack. On yep. the, so it's got a lot of stuff going on in the bottom and has top two on top. No, you're not. Yeah, that's pretty good. Creamio with 
a pretty meaning meaningless kings on these two boards. Well, for ten dollars though, yeah. you can call and see a turn. Wheels got the queen jack eight on the bottom, which is pretty nice, and also has a jack on top. Yep, Wonka with nine ten. We're talking about. And okay, clubs are now interesting. Wonka with the club draw. He's the only one. Queen jack on the bottom for wheel and stew for the nuts. Okay. Uh, does anyone have hearts? No one has hearts for the top flush draw. Only one way to find out. I don't think they so the top board, the only one person who really has anything going on is Stu with uh, top two, right? Yeah, Karimio has got an over pair and a four. Yeah. Wheels got a pair. Wheels gonna bet one fifty, and no way Stewie Younger's gonna fold. No, Stewie's. And Jack Seven is actually winning the top. And yeah, he's chopping the bottom. That's pretty he's good. quartering him right now. He's also got a deuce in case the deuce pairs for a full house. Oh yeah. On top of that, does Will have any outs? To I guess he could hit an ace yep. to win the top, and an eight would also win the top for him. That's it. Aces and eights. Mm -hmm. There's the call. Premio almost certainly not going to stick around any longer. The money got real. Oh, he doesn't like folding those kings, though. How you doing over there, Flamingo? Still up. That one's a little bit tired. A little tired. Are you up, down? Huh. Well, the nine might scare them on the bottom. Yep, and the six also makes some straights happen uh, on top. This could go check, check. Stuart, uh, right now, quartering wheel. So it's going to lead. He wants to make sure he gets some value for his hand. This is interesting. Oh, a blocker bet, though. 175. He would definitely fold to a race. Oh, for sure. I mean, I asked him specifically because of his size. Yours looks bigger than it was earlier. But then again, you also chopped up. You, and indeed, Wheel is getting quartered here if he calls. But only 175. It's He's almost getting his money back. It's only costing about 15, 20 bucks to call. Mm. That's the good news. I wonder if Stewart's actually targeting this type of a uh, holding even where he's looking to get to, to quarter. Maybe. He thinks there's a lot of check backs against these kinds of hands. He's going to call a lot if there's a bet. So this way he gets to set his price and get called more often by the slightly weaker hands. Okay. Could be. I don't know. He said it's I'm not going to put it past him. <laughs> That's really kind of you. <laughs> I don't like putting things past people. I like putting them right in front of them. Yeah. That yeah. way they can they see can look at them, reach them easily. Yeah. It's weird to put something past someone else. Yeah, don't do that. It's just mean. It's just, it's like, what are you doing? You're. I'm right here. <laughs> You have to acknowledge people as people, right? That's step one. And until you do that, you belong. You belong with the jellyfish. Harold the jellyfish. No, you don't get to hang out with Harold if you're that guy. The king of the jellyfish? Yeah. King Harold of Jellyfish right. Kingdom. How old was I when I had a jellyfish pet, do you think? Eight. What? Eight to 11. It doesn't matter. And then it died, and you couldn't tell it was dead for days because well, it's a jellyfish. It actually is hard to tell if a jellyfish <laughs> dies if you're a kid. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Very hard if you, let's say, don't feed it enough, and it's your responsibility. Really trying to figure out if this is a real story. <laughs> Signs point to no, but I want it to be true. Yeah. Danny looks like he is doing uh, the a blind raise again. Yep. Which is awesome. We're playing fake Omaha here. I think everybody actually just has two yes, cards. Yes, that's right. That'll get changed at some point. We're just going to, you know, watch the hand and not worry about it. Stuart's coming along. No, Stuart's putting in a re-raise. Probably the first real raise of the uh, hand because we went basically straddle and re-straddle. Yep. Crimeo now. Only $20 in there. Have you been drinking? Looks like Crimeo has a hand, though. Yeah, but... Drinking is like a force multiplier for sure. Is Karimio going to put in uh, another raise? 
me go back and check him out in a second. You have 10 seconds. I know it says 20, but I fucked up the 10. Because she has to pee. Okay. Let's take a good long look at Stuart. And then we will do. Look at the discomfort in the eyes. Romeo with Jax. Okay. So did Cremio put in a blind raise under the gun and then Danny put in a blind three bet plus one and Cremio woke up with Jax? That's what I think happened. And, and then he's Wolf just made it 155 with ace four suited because oh, of, of the blind nature of it. Right, and then Stuart called. Hey, we got, we got, that was cool. Um, and then we're just going to have callers. So Cremio calling brings in the whole world, basically. And we have a big pot. It's interesting Cremio didn't uh, put in a, a solid three bet here. I guess technically a four bet. A yeah. five bet is what it would be technically, but really it would be a three bet. Anyway, queen, seven, deuce, rainbow. Still best, Cremio is, as Yoda might say. <laughs> yeah, he might. Still best you are, but not going to be easy to navigate four ways. Not at all. If someone can find a bet here, they might just be able to take any, it down. Wolf could bet, I guess. I've seen Wolf make some... some Kamikaze sea bets before. This would be one of them, but it would work this time, I think. I think it would probably work, although Cremio might get a little sticky. He might call once. Just openly disrespectful. Wolf is going to fire. <laughs> 300. I like that sizing. Pretty pretty uh, reasonable sizing. It's He could go even smaller. It's such a dry board, but he goes bigger, and now it's a tougher spot for Cremio. If uh, Wolf had bet smaller... Like 200 even. I think Cremio's going to have a much more of a straightforward call. But he calls anyway. Danny's got nothing going on. He's got backdoor straight flush draw, man. What are you talking about? Danny's got a lot going on, but somehow mysteriously. Yeah. Hey, it's an ace. Wow. What a life for wow, the wolf. Wow, wow, wow. Well, at least Cremio's going to know that's a potential yes. bad card. I mean, I don't expect Wolf to even bet here. I, I think don't he's going to have a lot of checkbacks on the turn. Yeah, I mean... You could try to get thin value out of king queen in hands like that. You could, but you can probably get that on the river anyway. It's hard to imagine you get three streets that often against king queen. Yeah. But let's see what Wolf does. Wolf sometimes surprises us, and he is going to fire. Let's see how he sizes. Is it 300 again? It looks pretty small. Oh, that's he, interesting. 400. 400. He still. is trying to get a queen to call, but Cremio yeah. just dumps it right away. Yeah. I think that's going to do it for this episode. That is going to do it for another fascinating episode of Poker Time. Yeah.